One of the most important aspects of my job is making a simulator that's realistic enough that allows the clinician who's using it to forget that they're working on a piece of rubber. I basically use every kind of tool known to man. Everything from silicone to 3D printers, shop class tools like band saws and uh, table saws, and of course good old-fashioned clay and sculpture techniques as well. Very often we need to doctor up our own recipes in order to achieve a specific goal. For example, uh, my very secret pus recipe is uh, the filling in a Dunkin' Donuts Boston Cream Donut. I'm sure I'm ruining Dunkin' Donuts for everybody now. What else do we have here? Some disgusting fat. This is like subcutaneous fat. Squeamishness is not helpful in this line of work. We have a bottle of special effects stage blood, so that is straight out of uh, what you would use in Hollywood. Gross. Well, I can see something. You know what, a little special effects know-how goes a long way. The difference between working in a special effects environment, especially in the entertainment industry, and working at a hospital is that the clinical need is really front and center of everything that we do. This is the head that I'm making for you guys. Looks a little bit like you. We share a similar haircut, yeah. We want to make everything as realistic as possible for the purpose that it's an instructive learning experience. While things may look really cool, on television or in a movie, we strive for realism. So if it's not verified and backed up by our clinical experts, then we don't do it at all. And if they have input and tell us that it should be one way or another, then that's exactly how we do it. I think that simulation is going to be utilized at every major hospital throughout the world. Just like NASA will practice everything in full dress rehearsal. We can do the same in medicine. If we can help prepare tomorrow's physicians and today's physicians to provide better care for our patients, that's the best feeling there is. Do not try this at home on a real baby.